Hello, hello, welcome to Red Ted Art. First things first, subscribe to the channel. Now today we're gonna to show you how to make these adorable salt dough Mario mushrooms. Now this is a collaboration with Zoe's Fancy Cakes, who's made an amazing looking um, Mario cake. And these pop nicely on top of it. Now you can make these mushrooms either for the cake or if you've made a little slit into them, you could use them as place cards at a birthday party. You can, these ones with the hooks would be really nice as a little Christmas ornament for Mario lovers. And look, we even made a small version, which would be really cute, uh, Mario mushroom earrings. So there's lots of different things you could make with these and uh, they're just really good fun. Now be sure to pop over later to Zoe's uh, fancy cakes and check out her cake too. Anyway, let's get started. No, no, no. So today we're going to show you how to make this uh, Mario mushroom using salt dough. I love salt dough because it's really cheap and really easy to use and make um, and it's so versatile. So I've made a lot of, um, a whole bunch of uh, salt dough here already. Um, I've got a video linked here and below that shows you exactly how to make salt dough um, but it is actually really easy you don't have to watch that video but it does help basically all you need is two parts flour so like get a small cup and put two lots of normal flour in it then you get one part of salt again fill that cup all the way with salt and up to one cup of water so as you're mixing it gradually gradually add your water um, and then you can make your um, own salt dough like this you knead it and you knead it and you knead it and you make it nice and smooth you don't want it cracking but you also don't want it too wet because if it's too wet it's really hard to mold now to make your mario i basically get a, a small ball like this um, or medium sized ball um your mario your mario mushroom so it keeps focusing on the mushrooms and not my hands. And you um, then get a bigger piece like so. Basically make two balls and then roll it up. You, oh, this looks a bit cracked. So if it's cracked, you either add a bit more water or you give it another good, good um, you know, what's it called? Uh, malt, you know, knead. And then you, you sort of create like a flat oval shape that's going to be the top of the mushroom like so and then I gradually move it over my ball and then I push it down and I'm actually pushing the back of the mushroom here's the back, back of the mushroom you see it's flat onto the back of the, 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 the table and you want to face to show so to speak so I'm going to gently mold it round and then I'm going to pop it onto a baking tray now you can either let this air dry if it's a hot sunny day this should dry you know reasonably quickly but it will take two or three days so you can either let it air dry or you can pop it in the oven at um, about 60 degree, degrees centigrade um, so not too hot it's a low temperature and also what you need to do is is you do actually need to turn them so um, you know when you so you let it dry like this for a while and then you do turn it around to let the bottom dry as well but be careful that you don't do it too soon and also this has happened to my son before um if you let if you um let it dry and then sort of squish it you can actually make some dents in it um so do really be careful with it and let it dry gradually okay they're now ready to dry in the sunshine be sure that once they start getting a little bit harder to turn them to the bottoms can dry too or pop them in the oven to dry at low heat. Um, that's about 50 degrees C. They probably will need to bake for about um, two to three to four hours. It can be quite a long time. And again, you want to make sure that you turn them, say after a good half an hour or an hour, and they've started drying a little bit already. So let's wait for them to dry, and then we'll get them. So our salt dough is more or less dry, or dry enough, I think. Now these are quite chunky, so they did take ages to dry. Whereas these little ones, which are gonna be sort of like little, um, mushroom uh, earrings uh, they dried quite quickly so do remember with salt dough um, you do need to leave, give it a good chance I think these were in the oven a good uh, six seven eight hours so quite a long time um, and even then I have to confess I also had one or two break apart so I didn't actually um, stick them together well enough whereas when I made these they all worked out perfectly the first time so you know with salt dough you just have to give it um, you know uh, 
you know try always make a bit extra just in case something does break and um, you know don't don't worry about it if it does it's not the end of the world you know because it is it's an inexpensive material um, and it's really really good fun but you do have to kind of get used to how to use it so now I'm just going to give um, start adding the colors um, and obviously I think I find it easier to uh, basically uh, you know let each color dry before you move on to the next which is why I've already painted a few of them pink which means I can basically fast forward and do some pink now and then move on to the next color now again salt dough because it's got the salt and the flour in it sometimes when you put the paint on it can sort of it doesn't always stay very neatly so I kind of put it on quite thickly and let it dry like so now I'm going to leave this blank at the bottom because it gives it kind of like an air hole and it can still carry on drying over time here we go try and get it in there as neatly as possible like so so you can see it sometimes scratches a bit when I'm painting so that's just how the paint is reacting to the salt dough so I'm gonna let that dry Actually, maybe do a bit more just to get it a bit smoother because I can see the stroke, brush strokes. I don't like the brush strokes. There we go. Let that dry and move on to the next colour. I'm going to probably go for the red now. Get a bit of red out. And then you let that dry and then you add your big white spots. And then you're done. Oh, I think I've got a slightly darker red this time actually. This looks darker than the red I've used previously. I might go and yeah, that is a darker red. Let me go and get the other one just a sec. Here we go. I used this red last time and I do want my mushrooms to match. It doesn't matter. I mean, the other red would have been fine, but um, like I say, I want these um, mushrooms all to look the same. But it doesn't matter, obviously. Red's red, isn't it? So let's get my paintbrush, get one that's clean. This one will do. And you just paint it red. There we go, look, that goes on really easily. It's really interesting how also the same paints, I find some colors easier to add than others. Anyway, I'm gonna finish painting this and all the others. Then I'm gonna let them dry, oopsie, and then I'm gonna add the spots. So um, yes, we'll come back to that in a minute. Bye. Um, all we need to do now is add uh, some white mushroom dots. I always find the front of the face and put a big white one in the middle and then move round to the sides and to the top. But start with, with um, just the white in the middle like so. And then I also get a little bit of black and add the little eyes for the Mario mushroom. And that is then your Mario mushroom finished. Now the one I'm holding, you'll see, has got a little metal thing sticking out. All that is is a bit of craft wire twisted and pushed in whilst it was drying. Um, and then that means you can hang it up like a little Christmas ornament or something similar. Anyway, I'm going to finish off the rest and then we're going to have a look at them all together at the very end. fabulous as a little group now remember this is a collaboration with Zoe from Zoe's Fancy Cakes and over here is her final Mario Brother cake go and have a look at it and see how awesome it looks um, so anyway don't forget to subscribe and see you here on Red Art again soon